dear students welcome to online class this is lakshman sirol today we'll start new unit that is cardinal points of an optical system so what is this cardinal points we'll study in this class so before going to this cardinal points we'll see some basic things of optics a lens is an optical medium bounded by two spherical surfaces so here this is a one spherical surface and this is a another one circle sur spherical surface so these two spherical surface bounded of a and then made up of a lens a lens which is thick at the middle and thin at its edge called as convex lens for example this is convex convex lens here in the middle it is a thick and then at the edge it having a it is having a thin so this type of the lens is, is called as convex lens so another one lens is there that is it is having a middle one that is thin and then the edges are thick so this type of the lens is is called as concave lenses or a concave lens and these two lenses having the focal length that focal length is always depends on the radius of the curvature and the refractive index radius of the curvature it means this is spherical refracting surface this is spherical refracting surface having the spherical uh, radius of the curvature and then that will depends on that focal length is depends on the that radius of the curvature and also refractive index so here what happen already we have studied in pvc the thin lens which is having the thin lens it means single lens for the single lens we have calculated the image distance or a size of the image or a size of the object and then the distance of the that object from the lens all these things we have studied in pvc it means the ray of light is incident on the thin lens and then refracted back and then we'll get the one point that point is gives the image so all these things we have studied in pvc section so what happens here if number of lenses are there for example you are using the telescope otherwise the cameras all these things you are using and then that will made up of the different lenses for example it is a combination of lens that telescope is there that telescope is made up of the combination of the lenses so in that time what happens here the incident ray is incident on the first lens and then it is going to be refract and then again it is moving out and the next again it is refracting and again it is refracting like that what happens you are getting the finally you will get the image so this process is a lengthy process to find the that image distance and then object distance or size of the image and size of the object so purpose of this one to overcome of this problem one of the scientist is c f goes in the year of 1841 the scientist c f goes in the year of 1841 he given a simple specifications or a points 
to find the their size of the object to size of the image and then the distances between the image and then object so here that analysis of an optical system using those points is known as gaussian gaussian points so here these gaussian points are called as cardinal points and here what happen here this all combination of lens is there this is nothing but the thick lens this is nothing but the thick lens what they consider here they consider only the incidence surface and then final refracting surface so using this one what they did they find the some important points those important points are called as a cardinal points now here the need of cardinal points so what are the need of that cardinal points in the case of refraction through a thin lens the thickness of the lens has been neglected so here already have given that is this is the one of the lens is there so while finding the refraction otherwise whatever you are finding by using this one in that time the thickness of the that lens is there that is going to be neglected here and then whatever you are getting the image you will get directly and then next it is you need to be calculate the various formula and then we will find the that image distance otherwise object distance size of the image or okay, size of the object we will find so but in the case of this optical system geometrical optical optical system consisting a combination of lenses it means the thick lens is there in that time we cannot neglect the that thickness of the that thickness of the that lens or an optical system so including of this optical uh, distance or a thickness of the that system we are finding the size shape and the next what is the distances are there we will find everything by using this methods or a these cardinal points one way calculating the position and size of the image formed by an optical system is to be considered refraction at each surface of a lens successively but method is a very typical and complex this method is a very typically and complex and now so here optical axis is an imaginary line it means see here this is a one thick lens is there and the another one that imaginary line is passes through the that optical system that system he is having the center of the curvature and also that imaginary line is having the path along which the light is travels along the which the light is travels and that uh, light travels as well as the imaginary line are parallel to each other you can take the lens as well as a mirror and both are having the center of the curvature and that will coincide with the axis of rotational symmetry it means when it is refracting or reflection you will get the that coincidence then that is gives the optical axis
it means i will take here one example this is the one surface below surface is a one of the medium and above surface is i will take air medium here i will take water medium example i am taking so now here if the ray of light is incident on that surface this is the one of the inter sorry this is the one of the one interface of the boundary line and next what happens when it is going to be strike here and then it is going to be refract by the that surface and then it is enters into the another one of the media that's why it is called as boundary separating a two different optical media hmm? so this is the media 1 and this is the media 2 so now here in the atom when it is going to be strike on interface some are reflected some are reflected here and then next some are transmitted and the next some are absorbed for example if you are taking the black body radiations in that time you will get all these things okay this is the optical interface so here see here this is the lens this is the optical axis x and y so which ray is very closer to the that optical axis for example i will take this is one of the ray and the next what happens it is going to be refracted through the that refracting surface and then another one i will draw here to the edge hmm? for example i am taking this one only hmm? so this is the edge and next we'll get somewhere it is going to be refracted okay and which the ray is very closer to the that optical axis so that ray is called as a paraxial ray this is called as a paraxial ray okay this is the paraxial ray definition let us now see the cardinal points the cardinal points are the points located on the principal axis of rotationally symmetric or focal or optical system so here a scientist c f goss was given these points in the year of 18 41 so these points is called as gaussian points or this one is called as a gaussian optics for thick lens we are using cardinal points to find the size of the image and size of the object and the distance of object and then image from the fold so there are three pair of cardinal points two focal points two principal points and two nodal points all these things we'll see in next class